What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Paul Man's Guide to Building a Food Truck. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the plumbing, which we've been talking about for a while now, but we're specifically gonna be talking about installing the three compartment sink and the hand sink, which is right here, along with some of the drainage and the uh, tanks, which you can see right behind me. So make sure you stay tuned for that. That's coming up in this video. Let's dive into it. And before we get going, once again, guys, I just wanna thank you all so, so much for the support. Once again, we're actually about to hit 500 subscribers on the channel, which is a massive milestone for me personally. So thank you, thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. Check us out on uh, Instagram, Poor Man's Food Truck, and as well as TikTok, Poor Man's Food Truck. You can check out some updates on there as well. They're not, not all necessarily on the YouTube channel, so please uh, go and check those out. And uh, let's get into the first part of the plumbing. So right off the top guys, let's talk about where I purchased my equipment from and how much it cost me. So first of all, my three compartment sink, which you can see right here, uh, picked it up from Amazon. It cost me $400, uh, which is a pretty good deal to be perfectly honest with you. And my hand sink, which you can see right here, again, I picked that up from Amazon. That was $150, I wanna say. $150, I wanna say. Um, I will drop those links in the description for you guys so you can check them out. Um, we'll talk about some of the drainage stuff later in the video, but um, for the state of Florida, you are, you are required to have drain boards. However, you can substitute them for wire racks, which need to be mounted above the three compartment sink, which is why you can see I do not have drain boards either side of my three compartment sink perfectly um, acceptable for the health department to approve it like that um, also the hand sink um, i had to find the smallest one possible um, which is actually only 12 by 12 inches it's super super small um, however when i uh, asked for approval from my health department they said that it was perfectly fine it just needs to be big enough to be able to physically wash a pair of hands in there so that's going to be my hand sink right there um, once again i'll leave a link in the description for you um, i don't have the faucet yet for the three compartment sink that will be in the next video which we'll um, cover in part two um, but for now you guys can just get a close-up right here the stickers <laughs> which are uh, uh, sorry wash rinse sanitize those did not come with it i purchased those separately from amazon for something like i don't know like four or five dollars um they really weren't very much at all so i will put again a link in the description for that as well um okay next water tanks so right behind me you can see my two water tanks i have my uh, 20 gallon fresh water tank and a 25 gallon uh, gray water tank or waste water tank. Those I picked up from Class A Customs on a recommendation from Frank Portieras. If you guys haven't already checked him out, make sure you go check him out on YouTube. The guy is awesome. Everything that I've done in the trailer uh, really is down to him because I follow uh, all of his videos, <clears throat> just kind of alter them a little bit um, from my budget, uh, etc. cetera. So um, a little tip for you guys, they do sell these on Amazon, uh, these Class A Customs tanks. However, if you go direct through Class A Customs, which is what I did, go through it straight through their website, you'll actually save a little bit of money. Um, Amazon, I guess, do a little bit of an upcharge on them, but if you purchase direct through Class A Customs through their website, it might take an extra couple of days for them to ship it to you because I think they're based out of Illinois and I'm in Florida. Um, but you will save a, a few bucks. I think I saved about $50 actually between the two tanks and the installation kit. Just know that um, you need to purchase the installation kit separately. So make sure if you do go through classacustoms.com that you purchase your two tanks plus the installation kit. But still, when you bundle them all together, it's still cheaper than if you purchase them through Amazon. So there's a little top tip for you guys. If you want to save 40, 50 bucks, something like that, go direct through the their website at least that's when i purchased them um it worked out a little bit cheaper i'm not sure if they've changed it uh, at this point but that was only about two weeks ago and it was uh, actually cheaper to buy straight through them so little tip for you right there and just to finish up the overview guys before we go into the actual installation parts I just want to add this in there so like i said my hand sink is only 12 by 12 made by lnj of new york purchased on amazon you can see it's real close to this electrical outlet which i really do not like what i'm probably going to do is install a splash guard right here just to go up the one side of the hand sink they do make them with uh, splash guards already installed um, but they're, they tend to be a little bit wider. I couldn't find one this size that has splash guards already installed because I'm super tight on space, as you can see. But just so you know, I, again, I don't like having water next to electrical. I'm probably gonna put like the, uh, the child-proof plugs in here, uh, the little plastic plugs, just to give it some protection. And I'm also gonna install a splash guard right here just to be on the safe side. We don't want water getting into the electrical um, outlets. And again, down here, same thing. I'll probably put some sort of 
casing um, or something I don't know yet just to protect that outlet down there I don't again I don't want any kind of splash getting down into that socket so um, just wanted to add that in there so let's get into the actual installation oh water pump before we do that water pump uh, I did purchase that that was right around $100 I think it was $99.99 made by Seaflow um, you can see right here they use it in a lot of like RV installations and stuff like that uh, but I will leave a link in the description uh, for that one for you guys so you can check it out um, and uh, but most of the installation for that is going to be on part two of this video series of the plumbing all right guys so one of the first things if you do decide to go with this sink like what i have right here um in order to get the undermount tanks which are right here underneath we're going to need to remove this uh support bar right here that runs across the middle so we're just going to cut it on the one side and then we can actually pull the legs out of the back and that'll give us enough space to get these two undermount tanks uh secure underneath that three compartment sink we already have the flange feet which you can see right here as well and that's going to give it an extra little bit of elevation to make sure that it can fit nice and snug above the um above the water tank so that's going to be one of the first things we need to do is remove that middle bar right there all right guys so now we got those back legs cut off all we're going to do is just do a real dr quick dry fit make sure that everything lines up because obviously we want everything flowing downhill let gravity do its thing uh so that everything can get into that back tank which is the wastewater tank uh, i went ahead and dry fitted my hand sink which is right there as well again making sure that we've got plenty of um uh, downhill leverage to make sure that everything flows nicely into the uh into the waste tank so right now that's how we look uh, we're going to make sure that uh everything is dry fit it first I'm not gonna go ahead and do my final installations until I know um, that I'm happy with it and then we can go ahead and get everything fixed into place so just wanted to show you guys real quick that's what it's kind of looking like my setup I'm trying to back up a little bit for you so you can see from a distance that's how it's looking um, one thing that um, you may get a, a few questions about or I might get a few questions about is uh, the drain boards now for the state of Florida in my area you are you are required to have drain boards however in Florida you can substitute it for wire racks which needs to be placed above the three compartment sink which works out great for me because it's kind of tight right here if I was to have drain boards on either side of the sink too it might be a little bit too tight so fortunately if you're in the state of Florida you can have a three compartment sink just like this but just know that you need to install wire racks so mine are going to go right above uh, the three compartment sinks for air drying so make sure that you contact your local authorities and make sure that you're doing everything up to standard that's what I did and I found out that I didn't have to have the drain boards either side you can use wire racks if you're in the state of Florida other states are going to be different so make sure that you check with yours just one real quick add-in guys that we're going to be doing here is um, adding some of this plumber's putty uh, made by OT picked it up from Home Depot just a couple of bucks for the tub um, we're going to be adding that to um, the outside of each of the drains sorry of each of the the waste baskets and pushing down taking away the trim uh, to make sure we get a nice tight seal and then we're also I'll show you right here on the hand sink we're using um, plumbers thread tape uh, which you can pick up pretty much anywhere uh, for just a couple of bucks kind of looks like this it's just like real thin tape that seals the threads on each side and make sure that it's super watertight so we're going to be adding that before we do our final fixings as well and make sure that everything is super watertight another thing that you might need guys is this uh single step uh, pvc cement um this one was recommended by frank baltieres after watching his installation um all it is is just a sealant to go um in between the pvc pieces so i'm actually doing one right now so it's kind of gloopy but it comes with the brush with it and you just kind of put it in the inside just a little bit before connecting the next piece so that was about, I want to say, 10 or $15, but I'll leave it in the description so you guys can check it out. All right, guys, so we've got everything dry fitted for the time being. I'm just waiting for the plumber's putty and the PVC cement to dry. And in the meantime, I just wanted to talk about um, actually fixating the sink to, um, to the trailer. So right now I just have the, the feet screwed in. I'm going to figure out what I can do about um, fixing the leg to the actual... Um, uh, flange float but uh, for now I'm just leaning it like that and I can figure that out later but uh, I wanted to mention this to you because this sink uh, isn't all that deep so uh, it, it doesn't quite match up properly so there's a gap of about four inches between 
let me show you, between the actual back of the sink and the wall. So uh, to go around that, what I'm gonna do is just take some of these heavy duty galvanized brackets, which I picked up from um, Home Depot. They're 10 inches, uh, part number 204303. And all I'm gonna do is just fixate one right here and then up against the wall and then the same on the other side and that should keep it nice and sturdy what i did was i actually took that third leg on the back cut it to size so it kind of sits on top of that uh wastewater tank and that gives it a little bit more stability but the, the thing that's going to hold it really in place is going to be these brackets and those flange feet but i just wanted to mention that because this sink is obviously a little bit smaller than most three compartment sinks so that's how i'm going to tackle that all right guys so we've got those brackets installed you can see right there and right there and now this thing is solid it's not going nowhere um what i will say is you might have to bend them so i had to actually just grab my two you know with two hands just kind of bend them in just a little bit because this back wall is curved it's not completely flat so you can kind of see i had to bend it myself with my hand uh, but it fits perfectly fine and it's not going anywhere so those brackets are definitely uh, a must if you go with this sink and this size trailer okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run a real quick test and make sure that we don't have any leaks coming out of each of these um strainers to make sure that we got everything nice and tight and nice and sealed because we don't obviously want any water coming out of it so i got two bowls right below me here uh one of them's full of water one of them's empty <clears throat> so we're going to go each sink at a time and just catch the water that's going to come out of the tailpipe right there uh, and make sure that there's no leaks coming from each of the strainers like i said so let's get into that right now okay guys i'm going to do the best i can in terms of recording but you can see i got my bowl of water got my second bowl there to catch it and we're just going to pour it in here you can see the downhill is doing its work but the main thing we're looking for is no leaks coming from here which number one is good so let's just switch these out number two No leaks so far and finally number three now this one I gotta take it a little bit slower because it's kind of like gonna go straight down it's gonna splash everywhere so number three it's splash it everywhere but again no leaks so that's good I just want to take a quick second guys to let you know what I'm using to cut my pecs with. Um, there's obviously a bunch of cutter tools that you can purchase, but the one that I've got, I actually picked it up from Harbor Freight. It's a ratcheting um, cut tool. So it actually ratchets itself shut and then it snaps back open. It's made by Pittsburgh and it's worked really, really well. It's only about $6, something like that. I'll leave a link in the description for you. Um, I can't, it's kind of, let me see if I can do it. I don't think I'm going to be able to give you a demonstration. I'll try my best. Uh, let's see. I'm just cutting off this here, but you can kind of see it lines itself up on the bottom supports and then cuts right through. So it does work very, very well. Just want to put that in there. And last but not least, guys, I do have my uh, backflow valve installed. Uh, let me just show you right here. You can see inside it has like a, a flap right here, which allows the water to go through like that uh, but doesn't allow it to come back through the other side um, that i picked up from home depot actually i had to order it online it was super hard to find for some reason um, but it was about uh, 35 dollars nothing too crazy so i'll leave a link in the description for that um, and that's about it for now guys what we're going to do is just allow the pvc cement to dry i just disassembled everything and uh you know used my one step a single step uh, PVC cement which was recommended again by Front Portieras and I glued um, each section um, I went pretty heavy with it too I didn't want any leaks coming through so we're just gonna wait for that to dry and then probably on the next video um, when we go through you know running uh, the water pump which I've already started right here but we'll finish up with that with the next video and then also installing the 
water heater we will probably do like a um, at the start of video a test just to show you guys that you know everything flows nicely into that um gray water tank so at least for right now guys that's gonna be all and that's going to be everything for this video guys uh, like i just mentioned i'm actually going to split this into a two-part series just like we did with the exhaust hood um so in the next one what we'll do is i'll run a quick test at the start of the video to show you guys that everything here is uh, leak proof and good to go and then we're going to be working on the rest of the pecs which is right here and the water pump and then of course installing the water heater as well that's going to be on the next video so make sure you stay tuned for that and if you have any questions any comments please leave them right below i'll be happy to answer them for you and until next time guys thanks for watching